you doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to the kitchen. Today, I am combining my three passions into one video. Cooking, video making, and my general disdain for quarantine. And I'm bringing you this piece of content. <laughs> Today, we're making carabonada, which if you speak French, you will know is Italian for carbonara. So, let's get right into it. Step number one. In traditional carbonara, they use guanciale, which is um, pig cheek. Now, however, I live in a seaside town in the northwest of England, so pig cheek, quite rare to come by, so pancetta will do. I'll go over to the stovetop. You're not coming because I've only got one camera, so bang. You pop the meat in a frying pan on a nice medium low, renders out the fat because that's the key to the sauce. Speaking of sauce, here are the ingredients. Pecorino Romano, Parmigiano Reggiano. Egg, the sauce, very easy. You grate about 100 grams of cheese, so 50 of each, nice and easy. Fish back bosh. Pecorino Raman. We are recording, right? Yeah. The eggs, this is the good bit. So you crack. Box. So you crack. Box. So the eggs. Four eggs. One. Two. Three. You need just the egg yolk for the final one. Split it in half, and then if you watch like Bake Off or other things, oh shit, oh bollocks, no, rinse that. Oh, that'll do. So that went really badly. Now, whisk the eggs, because that's the step we're up to. You've got 100 grams of cheese, three eggs and an egg yolk. You pour it into the cheese, get a bit of cracked black pepper. Wouldn't have any salt. Pecorino's very salty. You just mix that shit together, you know. Bam. That's the sauce done, we'll come back to that later. So now it's time to get the pasta on. You've got to make the water. Salato camimbare. Which in Italian I believe translates to salty as fuck. Salato Camembare. Now, off camera, because it turned off, I did chop up some garlic, because we'll use that later. We're gonna take the pancetta, or guanciale ripoff, off the heat. We're gonna strain it into a bowl using a sieve, because what we want, some of that fat, we will use in the sauce to pop that back in there. We're gonna use, look at that, delicious fat that you probably can't see. I'm gonna pour a little bit of that back in, but not too much. Return it to the heat. The aforementioned chopped garlic. We're gonna pop that in. Now this little fella, this is a third of a cup. We will use this a bit later on to put some pasta water in the sauce because that's what the recipe says. I'm not a chef, I don't know why. Pasta time, take the pasta, pop it in pot, 10 minutes, 11 minutes, depends who you are. Now this is done, we'll pop it to the side for now, we'll save it for later, you'll see. Pasta's on, 10 minutes, job's a good one. So, I realise my SD card only has like a minute of storage left, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do, quickly. Got everything cooking away in the background, pasta's going. The uh, guanciale ripoff and garlic, that's all lovely and done. And once the pasta's done, I will take the pasta out of this pot and pop it in this pan, mix it all around, get myself a cup of pasta water in here, drain that pan, give it a wee wipe, put the pasta and pancetta pan contents back into this pan and then mix it with the egg slurry and I'll show you the finished product. And as promised, there's the final shot with my few remaining seconds. The video, not life. This video was very uh, 
uh, last minute. You may be able to tell by how poorly organised it is. I was very bored, it's Mother's Day, I'm cooking for my mum. I figured, hey, let's bash out a video at the same time. Stay safe, self-quarantine, wash your hands, sing happy birthday. I think they're all connected, I don't know how. Self-quarantine, self-isolate, self-distance, that's the one.